Hey guys, Sponge Murphy here. Just another unboxing video. I got my hands on a box of Savage Orcs. Um, I really like these since they first came out. It's one of those multi-part kits where um, you get a lot of options and there's a lot of spare parts in the box and they're just a really great looking model. Um, like there's a lot of choices with them. You can give them like hand weapons, spears, shields, even bows. Even though you you don't really see a lot of arcs with balls, but the option is with this box. Um, this came in at 23 euro, so um, it wasn't too expensive. So uh, let's see what's in the box. So first off, I got the bases, and you do get these are 25 millimeter bases, so they're slightly bigger than the scave ones I'm used to doing uh, with the last few months, and you get this kind of um. You no know, rectangle base is kind of like a cavalry base for the big stabber, which is that guy, them two guys there, where they're carrying like a big um, I don't know what to call it, but it's called a big stabber in it anyway. I think it gives them like impact hits or something like that. So um, that's that. You get your instruction booklet, um, which shows goes over all the options you can give them. There's a lot in it. Um, I'm not too sure which ones I could go for yet, but um, I think the spear and the shield ones are pretty nice. So there's three sprues. Um, zoom in and have a quick look. Um, I'm going to turn it over, turn over so we get a better look at the front of the body. So there's two of the bodies of the Savage Orcs, and I'm just trying to look for a date on the sprue. So it's 2010. So they're not too old. Um, I think the details on these are really good if it's focusing on it. There you go, it's kind of focused on one. So very tribal looking. You get a lot of um, nice details and the weapons are cool. You have like wood and then like the stones on it. Or uh, like the stone weaponry, the spears. Um, I think if I do uh, well, not the spares, but any of the weapons, I will be doing them like a magic kind of effect on them, so they won't be stone color. You have your arrows, and there's the hands with the hole in the arrows, and you get the, I don't know what they're called, but it's like the holders for, and there's just all your arms. Nothing too special on this. Um, just like apart from the body, the two bodies. Um, and there's the musician, the musician's arm. So instead of like a drum or a, like a horn or anything, it's a skull that he beats, so that's pretty cool. Uh, the second sprue comes with four bodies, and so I'm having a quick look on it here now. Um, we we'll start up here. So you get your four arrows, and um, you know the arrows are nice, but I just don't think the suit arcs. Um, you have your hands here with kind of like hand weapons and little um. You know, like there's a bone tied to the hand there instead of like an axe. You get like a little dagger. I want to focus on it's going a bit funny on it. Um, and then you just have your arms and after that. There's the backs. Let's have a closer look at the bodies. These are pretty nice and I'm really looking forward to painting these. They should be pretty handy to do. And then up here, well not, I turned around so it's done this way. You have more bows done this way. And then over here, there's the big stabber, which takes two arcs to hold. And then you have like some jaw bones, which go along the, the jaw of the arc's head. Uh, I like the big stabber, I think it's pretty awesome. It's something different in the unit. Um, and then on the bottom here, you have three arc heads. So I think, yeah, some of the bodies, you can see from that way, they have the tongue already stuck, sticking out of the neck there. So when you put, like, these heads on, like, the tongues will stick out through, or stick out from the body. So that's, um, that's pretty handy to do if you're painting it without the head on it. 
Um, and here on this last sprue, we have three more bodies. There's three bodies in that one, four in that one, or three on the first one. Thought there was only two. Thought I was missing a body. So um, zoom out. This one has a lot of hand weapons and a lot of shields. Let's have a closer look at some of the hand weapons here. You have like the axes. Um, I much prefer the one on the left. It's pretty cool. The sword is awesome. I like the sword, like a stone sword. I won't be painting it like stone, like stone, but it's I like it's pretty nice. You kind of have like your axe weapon, and um, you know a lot of them are tied up around bone and everything. You can see it there. And then here, then you have your your um standard bear banner which is pretty it's like i wasn't mad on it at first but um, it's something different you know it's very tribal like a totem pole and um, you know it's pretty cool it's something different you know um, and then you have the shields the shields are okay Um, you know they do stand out a good bit um, and then i think this guy here must be the leader maybe because he has like a cloth, but it's like scaly skin kind of cloth on him. Okay, I'll look at the front of him. He has a little bit of extra cloth on him. But then again, these guys do, do as well. So um, then just last, then you have the heads here. You know, they're cool to have the hair tied up and everything. This guy's chin and teeth are pretty cool. It's big John. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Um, really nice looking models. You don't see them a whole lot around. Um, but they're not too dear, you know. They're nice to pick up. Uh, there is 10 in it. So, um, and there's lots and lots of spare parts in this as well. And there's a lot of bits to choose from. So, that's it. Um, Surely I'll be doing a video about these in the future. So uh, make sure you leave a comment below and hit the like button. And if you haven't, hit the subscribe button. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you like this unboxing.